Namaste programs, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator, the Denmark bush trip, leg two. We're going from Roskilde, EKRK, to Hans Christian Andersen Airport, which is EKOD over here. So let's get ready to go and let's get going. Hans Christian Andersen. So we want 242 for 639 once we're up in the air. And up we go. Alright. Start looping back round. There's a beautiful landscape of Denmark. Denmark. Start our clock. It's probably a bit early to start our clock, but. So be it. We're basically over the runway. Good enough. Good enough. Come on, let's get a bit of speed so we can actually start gaining some reasonable height here. This plane always feels like it just wants to plow into the ground like it's its job hello Roskilde what is this a little industrial area very nice very nice tiny little town next to it yes hello hello everyone hello It's just fields and farms for as far as the eye can see. Awesome. Alright, giant white boxes have now left us. I still don't think there's a way of turning them off, which is annoying. It, you know, me immersion, me immersion. I think we're probably high enough, we want to be able to see things, so... Let's trim down a bit. And get some speed up. I think we decided like 95% was about right. On the power. 94, 95, close enough. We want to be able to see the little villages down here. Look at this, uh, why is that like that? What are you making? How terribly creative. Or perhaps that's just how you need to plant things, whatever you're planting there, in that configuration. More wind turbines. Another nice little town here. Oh, isn't it cute? Oh, my plane's got my livery on it now, or my riding on it. Didn't yesterday. You yeah, must have to do the first leg before that registers. Wow, look at this. Fields upon fields upon fields. Yes, someone has to make the food. It's almost a hill there where that town is, I think. Wow! Not as flat as I thought. Just the barest hint of a hill. It's nice to see that there's still a few little forests here and there. That looks like it might actually be a castle of some sort that's been rendered in as little buildings, but 
Why would there be a row of houses just there like that? I think that might be an old fort or something. It has, the algorithm has murdered. Well, we've done four minutes. I didn't actually read out what we were doing. We're going to Langeso, Langeso Lake. After taking off from Oroskilde Airport, fly southwest for 13.8 nautical miles to the crescent shape Langeso Lake. With a O, with a strike through. So, I don't know how that pronounced any differently. Langeso? Langazu? Langaza? Don't know. Anyway, we're looking for a crescent shaped lake in the next minute and a half or so. I mean, is it that one there? It's kind of crescent shaped. Up here is more of a river, isn't it? Or is it a lake? Oh, it's a river. Look at it go. Yeah, another minute before we're meant to actually arrive at the lake. Although, uh, as always, it's the first segment, so probably be a bit late because I didn't get up to full speed right on top of the runway, as I'm sure you're supposed to. Uh, but who has the patience for that? And not I. I think that's probably the lake. This is just a river. Over there doesn't look like a lake either. Hard to tell. Hard to tell. What's going on with this river? It's thin over here and then thick over there. It just doesn't know what it wants to be. And there's a really thin little segment. Is that man-made, that little peninsula there? Is it a dam? Doesn't look like it. I guess this ends up being thicker because of that tiny little, you know, way through there. It all sort of banks up a bit. Are you Langaso? Hello? If you are, welcome. Well, no. Thank you for welcoming me. Enjoy your meal, sir. Thank you, you too. Right, well, we've hit seven and a half minutes, almost. So, I'm guessing the purple line will give us a new heading soon enough. There it is, right here. So, was this the lake? I guess, maybe. It does sort of look crescent shape. Maybe that was it. All right, 2.45 for 11 minutes and 7 seconds. We're heading to the Great Belt Bridge. Continuing on your heading for another 23 nautical miles brings you to the stunning Great Belt Bridge, also known as East Bridge, the fifth longest span in the world. I'll look forward to it in about 12 minutes. Well, 11 minutes. Hello wind turbines, hello little towns and villages and houses. Isn't it pretty? Fuck it, look at it. The windmills of love. You might as well face it, they're the windmills of love. Incredibly. Little, you know, not much civilization here now. It's all farms, it's all rural, little towns, little villages.
and flatness as far as the eye can see. That flashing back in the distance there. Yes, indeed. Yes, yes. Hmm, nice little lake here as well. With a little town almost in the middle of it, sort of almost making an island. Living their life on the lake. Than that lake life. Another church? Is there a football uh, field though? Look at you, you little town. Oh, you're a cute one with your big church and your no football fields. I mean, there's a little track thing there. Probably a football field in amongst all that. I wonder if these are just algorithmic churches or whether they all look like this. I feel like the algorithm with the Nordic update has been given this Twin Spire church and it's just putting them in because it just seems a bit odd to me that the the um, the aerial photography would be clear enough that you'd be able to determine that that's what that church looked like. I mean, maybe maybe the maybe it's clever enough. It's definitely plenty clever about putting buildings in, but I don't know, I don't know. That one seems a little bit far-fetched if you ask me, so I think it's just, yeah, some kind of shape it goes. I think that's probably a church, so I'll put that kind of church in, even though that's not what that church actually looks like, possibly. Maybe all Danish churches have the twin spires, I don't know. Maybe that's a fair enough guess for the algorithm to make. All right, we did four and a half minutes of 11 and seven seconds. We're getting there, we're getting there. Some more forests going on here. Some nice little uh, bits of greenery. What's that there? Little, little lake in the middle of the forest. Oh, sneaky place to put bodies, I reckon. Get the authorities onto it. Can you trust these Danes? I've seen Nordic television. It's all serial killers and stuff. Don't know if I've seen any in Denmark. I've seen some Swedish TV shows. Where it's all crime dramas and shit. Are you Gunnar Gunnarsson? I am Gunnar Gunnarsson's son. Stole that joke from what's his name? Alistair Beckett something or other on Twitter. You'll find it. Search search uh Guna Gunnison. I think the skit was called Every Swedish Crime Driver. It was hilarious. Much bigger town now. Almost a city, you would say. Pretty big. We're kind of we're just over halfway to this uh, mythical bridge, the Great Belt Bridge, uh, the East Bridge. I 
if it is so it's so um, impressive why can't we see it yet maybe we can is that that it in front of us or is that is the bridge going to the other landmass over there Look, like I'm hearing wind sounds. That's new. More churches. Oh, got to find a football field. Yeah, there's some football fields over there. We've got our churches. We've got our football fields. All is right with the world. This little complex here. What's this all about? What's this all about, huh? Are you just all set up there for the farm, are you? Lots of workers? Why did my engine sound like it was cutting out just then? Weird. No, that's not a bridge in front of us. It's a bit of land. Where's this bridge then? We're at nearly eight minutes, so another three minutes to go. Uh, before we're supposed to arrive at it. Peaceful little jaunt across this section of Denmark. I love everything about it. Industrial part of the town. Perhaps there's, I say, perhaps there's docks here, but it doesn't really look like it. Um, I guess it just supports the local farming industry or something. Who knows? Where's this bridge? Is it just not loaded in yet, or what? Hmm? Where's this Great Belt Bridge? We are now two minutes away from it. Hello? Got any bridges? Fifth longest span in the world. You'd think we would have seen it by now. Must be there somewhere. In Euro Truck Simulator, when you cross this uh, waterway, you go across a large bridge with a, a little island in the middle. So I wonder if the bridge is over here somewhere. It's meant to be there. I don't know. I don't know. Now we're not going to know when the purple line changes for the simple reason that the next heading is exactly the same one. So I guess once we see the bridge, is this the beginning of the bridge here? It's just not loading in yet? What's this little town? Look at it. Go. It's bigger than I thought. That thing off in the distance, I, this little jut here I thought was a bridge back in the, back in the, in, you know, two minutes ago. Ah, uh, look, the bridge is loading in now. Their new algorithm that loads things in a lot later. I'm actually going to head over to the bridge and fly near it, even though that's not quite the heading we've been given. We've got more football fields. We've got to find a church, though. There's one there. Okay, good. All is right with the world. Just putting it on ultra again. I mean, my graphics card should absolutely be able to handle it. It's a 3080. See if that's helping. No, so the pop-in, they've changed it, definitely. This is the kind of thing that you would have seen for miles back in the distance and it would have actually been a bit weird. 
Um, but now it's they've gone too far the other way where even if you're quite close it's not loading in yet well that's how it goes sometimes I suppose now let's go along the bridge I actually want to see this little island see if it's got a uh, see if it looks like anything like it does in um, Euro Truck Simulator. Because it just, it just gives you the gist. It's not accurate at all, but, you know, there is, I think, a, like a lighthouse or a church or something on this little island in the game, in the other game. Well, let's see if that actually exists IRL. Look at this bridge, though. It's gigantic. Amazing. Truly amazing what human beings are capable of and also why. Just get on a boat. Hmm, yeah, okay, so I don't know whether this is a representation of that island. Well, this is the obvious island, whether the Euro Truck Simulator does a representation of this particular island. It doesn't look like there's any sort of distinctive, I think in like a red lighthouse or a church or something like that, when you're crossing over here. Maybe it's another piece of, of Denmark, I don't know. I don't know. But it's always a cool bit in the, in the truck game where you cross this large bridge. Nowhere near as large as this, obviously, in real in in the game. In real life, it's much larger. Or in this, in this game as well, it's presumably the accurate size. Oh, what's going on there? There's a rock. There's a kraken. There's a kraken trying to destroy the bridge. Quick, get onto it. And then this tiny little bit of land here with a house or a village or something that's pretty damn cool need to get that reset because I went into the menus and it messes up the Navlog font and turns it into something quite large and unreadable. So actually where we've been headed for this, which was 245 for 1145, which we've done three minutes of, is Egeskov Castle, Europe's most well-preserved Renaissance water castle. Egeskov Castle lies 24 multiple miles farther along your course. Well, we're already taken off about a third of that. Well, we've got to follow this bridge, we've got to get to the other end, and then we've got to find this castle. That's what we have to do, or else, or else. jutting docks out here. I wonder why. It's just a sea break, I guess. Almost turned that into a bit of a beach there. Interesting. Don't know if I'd want to swim there. It'd be pretty bloody cold. All year round, no doubt. There's a beach over There's beaches everywhere. We've crossed over. We're no more football churches. We're beaches now. It's surfing time. Everybody's going surfing. Surfing Denmark. 
Okay, alright. So, let's see. We're probably about five, six minutes away from this water castle. If that is a real thing. What's a water castle? That's my real question. We're probably already a fair way right of where we're originally meant to be, so we probably don't want to be drifting any further right, so let's get on course, 245-ish. And uh, yeah, in a while, in a few minutes, a couple of minutes, we should hopefully start seeing this, um, this castle -A. What was it? Eggerskull. Eggerskull Castle. This summer, you will find a castle in Denmark that you can fly over. We're back to all the farms. Different looking farms now, I have to say. You know, much greener. Much darker green. Presumably different crops over here on this side of things. I like that they're using wind power, but you would have, you'd expect there to be more of it, right? I mean, just three there, two there, a couple here, three there, two over there. I mean, they're, they're, there's a lot of them spread out, but usually you see, like, I don't know, big banks of these things. Five, ten of them, you know? Alright, by my reckoning, probably another four minutes to go. I didn't actually reset the clock, so I'm just adding up the two times. We had 11 minutes and 7 seconds in this leg, this segment, 11.45, so somewhere around 22, 23, and we've just ticked over 19 minutes, so probably about four minutes to this castle. Still to go. My concern is, if it's a water castle, that it should be near some water, right? There's not much water until we get to the edge there. Is that four minutes away? I feel like we'd be... Yeah, it feels like that's further away than four minutes. And then there's, okay, there's a little bit of water just in front of us here, but that's too early, so... Where's this castle then? one. What's that all about? What is this? Bloody salt fields. Interesting. More little towns, no little churches though, no football fields. Completely different uh, people over here apparently. They don't go in for that nonsense over here. They've got their own priorities. Alright, we must be close to this castle, at least. You know, a minute or two at max. Um, could be over there because we were slightly to the right. Who knows? Could be anywhere, really. Could be anywhere. The most well-preserved Renaissance water castle. Don't know what that means, exactly, but... 
Maybe we'll find it. Who knows? Who knows? You know, a bit more, a bit difficult, a bit different from uh, finding castles in France. They're usually up on a high hill somewhere, surrounded by a little town. It seems a bit different over here. Castles seem to be, you know, in strategic positions, and then the actual towns and villages aren't exactly where the castle is, which is not how it developed in France, for example. France is everything big castles surrounded by little towns. Hello, castle? Hello? Anyone got a castle? Anyone? So we just hit 22 minutes, so another minute or so, possibly, before we're meant to turn, at least. And it's a big turn, so we'll know it when we see it. It's not just the same heading over and over again. I want to see the castle. Where is it? Man! Oh, that's it there, I reckon. Go have a look at it. Let's go have a bit of a look at it. We are here to see things, so... It'll take us off course a bit, or perhaps even back on course. Oh, I think this is the one from the actual... There's the loading screen, where the Nordic update shows a, a water castle. Hello, Egerskov Castle. Maybe not, maybe not the one from the loading screen. Similar, similar. Look at you, nerds. Look at you. Alright, well, we've seen the castle. We now need to turn almost directly back the way we're coming. Well, let's see. Close those two. We're now heading to Odensa. Just under 14 nautical miles northwest lies the colourful city of Odensa, Denmark's third largest metropolitan area. Alright, had to pause there. Had to have a chat to my sister in Australia who has just had a baby. So I, uh, yeah, I don't know where I was. That pause was 15 20 minutes. While well, I met my niece for the very first time, I'm an uncle. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if I read this out. 344, 641, Odensa, just under 40 nautical miles northwest. Like the colorful, I think I did read that out. It rings a bell. So, yeah, 641, heading in this direction. Let's get back to it. Flying over Denmark. You can now call me Uncle Chads. Uh, spoiler alert, she didn't have a baby while I was recording this video. It's just uh, we, she had it a few hours ago, but this is she's finally out of out of the natal ward and was able to have a chat on FaceTime while I was doing the video. So, there you go. Don't know why I felt the need to explain that, but yeah. Just in case you thought, you know, this video was exactly when uh, <laughs> when my niece was born, it wasn't. Oh, Densa, where are you? So, well, well, you know, we're one and a half minutes, so, of six and a half, so, we're, you know, we're near it, really. More little towns, more little farms, more wind turbines. Uncle Chaz. Uncle Chaz. Has a ring to it. I think my, uh... I think my entire purpose in life has always been to become a, the, the weird uncle. You know, the traditional weird uncle. Unmarried, no kids of his own, but, you know, takes care of, of his nieces and nephews. Brings the odd weird present each year. Comes to family gatherings. Not that I can do that at the moment, stuck in France where everyone else is in Australia. But maybe, soon, one day, we'll be able to go home when this COVID nonsense 
has finally gone over and I can fulfill my role of weird uncle. What's going on there? Is that a, a cloud that was photographed as part of the... Uh, it looks like there's spider webs on that, that field. As part of the aerial photography, there was a cloud in the road and that's just what it looks like now. Possible? Who knows? Maybe it's cobwebs. Another church, little town with a church, but no football fields. So they've added churches, but not uh, football fields over here. Or is that a football? No, that could be a football field. I mean, you could play football on it, I suppose. Weird terrain. It feels like that field is slightly higher. Or it might just an optical illusion. Weird terrain data there, I think. But not an optical illusion. It feels like one. Get back on course. So this must be the outskirts of Odense if it's Denmark's third largest metropolitan area. It's certainly getting much more dense in terms of people. We've got big factory and industrial buildings popping in. And obviously a lot less farming and fields. For the time being it's not looking as colourful as it suggests, because it did say the colourful city. Yeah, it is actually, you know, look, you've got the little yellow houses and the red houses. Another church. Possibly some football fields. Yeah, possibly right there. I mean, they seem a bit small. They seem a bit small to be football fields. Definitely some kind of sporting field or almost could be barracks or something there. Don't know. Don't know what that is. We've got some towers over there, some smokestacks maybe. More churches. This has got to be Odense, right? Yeah, we're a minute from the next turn. Hello, Odense. We've got a racetrack over here. Looking good. Looking real good. what those smokestacks are over there sometimes you get a weird sometimes those things are the algorithm has sort of lost its mind a bit but another one of these presumably algorithm generated twin spire churches that look just like what we've seen look there's even one there that looks exactly the same and one over there that looks exactly the same building in a sort of peninsula on that bit of water there. I what that's all about. All right, we're turning. We're turning 334 for the last segment of this leg. We're going to Hans Christian Andersen Airport. Continue on your course for five nautical miles and land at Hans Christian Andersen Airport. Hans Christian Andersen. Famous uh, children's storyteller. I think he did what, like Little Mermaid, things like that? Very much darker stories. I think he did Hansel and Gretel as well, those ones. Very much darker stories than um, than their Disney-fied versions. For example, Little Mermaid, I think in the original story, not only can she not talk when she comes to land, the legs that she's given give her constant pain. And the prince she was trying to woo doesn't isn't interested in her. So I think she commits suicide. Which is not exactly how it went in the Disney version. It's perhaps how it should have gone, because his stories were all uh, 
you know, uh, fables for trying to get kids to do, you know, not stupid things, you know? Trying to get them to learn life's harsh realities. And then Disney goes and makes it all, oh, yes, if you uh, desperately want some bloke, you make, get rid of your fins. Oh, this is the airport. I've been trying to find the airport. Here it is, right here. And yet again, I'm going to be way too high now, because I've seen it late. So we'll come over here. We'll come over here and try and get our flaps down. Oh, uh, there we go. Get our flaps all the way down. And head over this way a bit while we lose some height. Something weird about whether it being so flat or something, and the my my eyes are seeing these these fields as hills and things. It's not quite fitting in my visual cortex like it should. It feels very weird. But if I look at the airport, it'll at the runway it all becomes a bit clearer. God, it's so peaceful when you've got the engine on. I'm just gliding this thing in. Let's uh, let's turn now. Still think we might be a bit high, but just like yesterday, we'll um, we'll deal with it. Yeah, definitely way too high. Five hundred. But we'll get there. Maybe not. Not too bad, actually. Well, yeah, we're a bit fast now, so we're going to have to wash off a lot of speed. But let's just get to the right area of the runway. Start washing off speed. There we go. Oi! Oi, get out of it! That's someone taking off on the next leg. Happy trials, sir. Happy trials. Oh, man. Boom. Down we go. There we are. So calm and... Didn't even have to turn the engine back on at all. Beautiful. Beautiful. That was leg two. Welcome to Hans Christian Anderson Airport. Wow, thank you. I appreciate that. So, welcome to... That was leg two. We have arrived at Hans Christian Anderson Airport. So, according to the uh, ATC that suddenly talked to us for the first time in any of these bush trips. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for existing. Au revoir. Goodbye.